I'm joined by Bernard Gagan as Executive Vice President, Cult Data Centre Services. Uh, Bernard is newly appointed and uh, uh, recently took, took up the role. Bernard, why? What attracted you to the role? Why, why are you here at Cult? So, uh, you, you may have seen over the last year, Ambrose, there's been a number of announcements made in, 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 the, uh, in the modular space. Uh, everybody believes it's a, uh, a future direction for data centre uh, procurement and, and data centre delivery. Um, I think um, from from the personal perspective, uh, uh, you know, when, when when the announcement came out last year, um, people were were you know, when they read about the modular product, it seemed like a logical step. I think what what surprised a lot of people was it was Colt that actually made the announcement. Um, at that time, um, uh, I saw an opportunity. I, I, I believe that the modular approach is most definitely the 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 better way to actually acquire data center space. Um, the overhead of, of significant building programs, um, significant capital budgets required to do that. You know, particularly in today's economic crisis where you know, we all have to go right up to the board to get a, a certain level of sign off. Um, it makes it a much easier way to, uh, to procure. Um, so in that sense, uh, along with, a, with you know, a number of things and personal opportunity, I, I decided to take the uh, move to Colt. Okay, so the the proposition from Colt, which is obviously part of the attraction, is because because you, you clearly think there's a place in the market for it. What stood out about it for you? Well, a, a number of people uh, have been trying uh, to get success in, in this area, and and you know we went from. Uh, you know, faster uh, delivery of large-scale data centers, and then the next real initiative was around containers. Um, and containers were a absolutely fast way of delivering everything could be c configured off-site. Um, but you know, unless you had a significant amount of of similar equipment required, you know, the container model didn't quite suit. Uh, it was quite restrictive in that sense. Um, as I said, the natural progression is this modular unit, which gives you the advantages of the container while still giving you the economies of scale of a larger, a larger center. Um, so, in 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 the sense of of uh, you know a, a attractiveness, um, it, it it's a scalable, truly is a scalable solution. Um, other other providers have tried to get a, a standardization and and really around procurement and of, of component purchases um, where they could they could uh, effectively use their their purchasing uh, skills to to modularize the the buying of a data center but this truly is a modular delivery um, it can be uh, you know a significant amount fitted out at, at the factory um, there is a f you know again uh, people talk about this but the the factory already exists and it gets delivered to the site and you know can be put together in in uh, 14 weeks so in that sense it uh, truly is a modular approach so so w was there anything particular about the components within the w uh, w within the modular data center itself because as you say containers uh, tend to be uh, uh, pre-built and then you, you you get to select but so what I'm asking is, the, in terms of the, the engineering know-how mm -hmm. that went into the modular data center, uh, uh, you know, it, it has all of the components of, of, a, any kind of, of a large scale data center, um, but, but was there anything in particular about that, that when you, when you first looked at the product, uh, uh, that actually that stood out for you? So, again, you know, if, if, you, if you look at the, the speed of delivery that's there, uh, it's very positive, but then you go, the practicalities of, um, well, it's I have a, a standard 19-inch rack here, but then I've got a tape machine here. I've got other pieces of equipment. You go, that becomes quite limiting when you're trying to migrate existing solutions that are, you know, uh, you know that will run compute power for a, for a, a number of years yet to come. Um, to be allowed to put that into a modular approach, um, the the solution that Colt has answers that question. So it's a combination of the fast delivery with uh, the expectation of, of what you're actually going to populate the data center with. Mm -hmm. um, so 
and, and you know, by this I mean people are not going to go and necessarily buy uh, rafts of new equipment that fit neatly into the container. They've still got some legacy element of, of, of that, or, or I, I, a new word that, that's been introduced to me since I joined Colt is heritage, uh, which gives it a little bit more uh, of, a, of a wanted flavor. Uh, legacy is something you want to get rid of. But there's investments there that people do, don't necessarily want to uh, um, just throw by the wayside. Um, so you get the best of both worlds in the modular approach. You can take in a, a, a uh, existing infrastructure, I mean IT networking, um, into a modern facility that delivers you know, sub 1.2 PUE uh, at the design level. So in that sense, it, it really is the best of both worlds.